What's happening everyone, Jay Shockblast here, and check it out. Death Garden Blood Harvest is the reimagined Death Garden, and it is launching today, May 30th. And on May 15th, the folks at Behavior Interactive brought me up to Montreal and let me play the game and check it out and see what they had going on. What you're about to see in this video is my first match. Keep in mind, I am playing against the devs, people that literally designed and developed this game. So uh, I'm pretty terrible, but uh, I I'm trying to figure things out and I really enjoyed this game. I'm looking forward to playing it more. I hope that it's successful so that it can come to console. Um, this is all procedurally generated and uh, each time you go onto a different map, they're, they're, everything's in different places. And as you'll see, everybody is shooting the different items that are on the screen. Uh, they'll give you ammo, they'll give you perks, all sorts of stuff. And by shooting it, it actually lets the other four scavengers know exactly what's going on and where it is. So now the hunter is on the field. We cannot hurt the hunter. And I don't really know exactly what I'm doing 100%, but uh, anyway, we can't hurt the hunter. But we do have our own different things that let us kind of escape better or even help out better uh, the character I'm playing is Sawbones and I can heal and see how I shot this uh, this harvesting station now all the other scavengers can see that it's right there and you can see that I can see the different stations uh, where I can go and deposit these it's really cool you have to work together well let me take that back you don't have to work together, but it definitely pays to do so. Now, when the hunter finally finds me, you're going to notice that it is the freaking Terminator T-8000 exoskeleton skin. Uh, this is a skin that carried over from the original version of the game. So here I am. I'm depositing all of the stuff that I picked up, the, the blood deposit, if you will, and I'm getting XP. Now, something got shot over here. There he is. There's the Terminator. Oh, and I'm in trouble, and I don't really know what to do. So, uh, I'm kind of running. Now, you'll notice, that I think I go down, I get killed at some point. So, there's my arrow, and I'm healing. Oh, but he found me. And I think he's going to kill me, alright? But he, they don't actually do the full, um, what is it, like, sacrifice, or whatever. I don't remember what the term they use is. So, that Sawbone shot me to revive me. And that's the benefit of working together. Now, the reason why the person that's playing as Terminator left me there is because there's a, a multiplier for the hunter where if they have you know multiple people down at the same time, they get far more experience for sacrificing them. So it's a really cool dynamic. Like, are you going to take that risk that they're going to you know revive or find a health terminal or anything like that? Uh, or do you just uh, go ahead and all right, so right here I I can be seen that right there You can destroy those that's a basically a Doing a sweep and showing me on the map for the hunter. So you got to get rid of those right away I don't even know that I could properly put into perspective Everything you have to do and you know as I'm doing it here It's there's a lot of stuff going on, but what I really loved about this game is it's very fast-paced and it's it like really is just a fun believe it or not relaxing environment even though you've got the freaking terminator chasing after you non-stop i really love this game like i actually kind of like the fact that you know there isn't this this feeling where you need to actually fight the hunter and take the hunter down i think that's something that you kind of had to do with evolve and, and evolve is a game that this definitely reminds me of Ah, oh, so there it is. The Terminator found me. Now, I'm playing with a controller, and the game doesn't necessarily support controllers, uh, but they do work. There are a couple moments where I, I definitely struggled with it, where I, I couldn't turn as much. You'll notice that when I play as a hunter far more than here, I, I'm in trouble. This, this uh, Terminator is definitely after me. At one point, I did make a joke. Oh, I think I'm about to get sacrificed. Yep. 
I've been ex executed, not sacrificed. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm out of the game at this point. Uh, but I can watch other people. I think that's what I end up doing. But I mean, I really like this game. Yeah, so we're gonna follow somebody else. Um, at one point, I did kind of say, like, I mean, I know that they don't really know the difference. But uh, when I was about to get down, I said to somebody. Oh, just remember, I'm trying to show people how much fun this game is. You don't really want to kill me. <laughs> I don't know. It was pretty funny to me. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, I, I really think this game is awesome. I think you guys are going to like it, too. Uh, it's pretty pretty affordable. I think it's only going to be 20 bucks, um, And possibly cheaper if you already have the original version. So... You know, the scavengers basically go and they find those those blood terminals and then they bring them to the de de to do the deposit and, you know, all while trying to escape the Terminator. You're not going to be the Terminator every time. Obviously, only one of the, the three different hunters has a Terminator skin. But, uh, man, I hope I can get it because I think the Terminator skin is only like two bucks too. Maybe three bucks. Um... But I'm definitely, that's, when I play as a hunter, if I play as a hunter, because honestly, it's kind of hard to be a hunter, but um, that's what I want to use as Terminator. So anyway, that was my first ever match. Sawbones versus Terminator. Terminator wins. Hope you guys enjoyed checking out this video. I've got some more coming. We'll see ya.